there, and Trent Mawa here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today. And today we're gonna hatch some wins with the Windfair Hatchling. <laughs> Windfair Hatchling is a seven-drop uh, elusive unit from Ionia that has been around since the beginning of all of Runeterran times, at least the card game ones, as a seven mana four three now because it got buffed. This card has always been a seven mana four two, but because of the recent power creep in the game and uh, the tendency that we've seen from Riot to go back and, and buff some, you know, forgotten cards. We've seen this thing revamped and this card is actually pretty damn neat as a finisher. It's not quite at the level of the Winding Light, but it's pretty strong for Ionia and I think it's definitely been quite forgotten and it's very powerful in a Ari Jinx, Ari Jinx. Ari Lulu archetype or aka Biggie Smalls, right? I really like this Ionia deck and I'm gonna explain so uh, in a bit. But first of all, this card uh, went from a four mana, a seven, a seven mana four three to a, uh, sorry, it went from a seven mana four two to a seven mana four three, which is a significant buff. It can no longer be pinged by something like Mystic Shot, and it's actually quite resilient and uh, contributes to the late game attack that you're aiming for. When I'm summoned, give other allies plus two plus two this round. Very powerful finishing effect, especially in conjunction with a bunch of little elusives that don't become little no more biggie smalls is a deck that combines or i like to refer it as decks that combine flame chompers with lulu i absolutely love the synergy with lulu and flame chompers and what i really like about, about this deck is that it also this synergy goes even further because with ari you can effectively recycle not only are you making use of the chompers to turn ari into effectively what is a superior challenger because she's hitting for free first and then she's challenging something with quick attack which is amazing synergy. But on top of that, you're returning the Chomper to your hand, which allows you to discard it again, to generate some Daring Poros, to draw through your deck, or to just go face with a monkey and deal damage. So that way we can, uh, with just one Flame Chompers, we can uh, challenge with Ari onto the Flame Chomper and then reutilize that Flame Chomper with Lulu later down the line and get even more value out of our exchanges. We got a full set of Sinan, the, the Thousand Tail, I can't even, I, I confuse T's with S's now, apparently. And Sinan is actually really strong, I mean, actually, he's, <laughs> no shocker there. Very good card uh, that allows us to capitalize on our Swarm by empowering it, you know, with a bit of a mini Windfair Hatchling effect, but drawing us two cards. So we have effectively a very fast-paced, sort of like mid-range synergistic deck that has really strong bombs at turn six and seven. A little bit of disruption here because we're Ionia. Why not play a one-off of Deny? A full set of Twin Disciplines. Uh, we're also running Retreat because I believe Retreat Return is extremely good in this deck, especially because we're playing a full set of Dancing Droplet, which gives us even more targets to draw upon. and can also allow us to set up a Lulu at burst speed which is really neat because even in conjunction with stuff like Poro Cannon, I really like Poro Cannon on three with Lulu onto a Flame Chomper because it doesn't give the opponent time to deal with the Flame Chomper as we're going to immediately transform into a 4-4. I think that's one of the strongest traits of this deck, the ability to just burst and all of a sudden turn this little, you know, spread out boar state into an incredibly menacing one. And that's why it's just a very, very cool... Uh, way to play an Ionian PNZ region combination, in my opinion. So I figured I'd showcase it today. It's the the right shell to really highlight the win for Hatchling, which we're gonna put into work in today's video. And that's where I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for daily Legends of Runeterra time. <laughs> I just I can't I can't talk like straight today. Like what the hell? Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Like sometimes, in case you're wondering, like why this happens to me is because I I say this every now and then. Like I I take words that I'm going to say. And I mix them with words that I'm saying in the moment. So I, I I create like a random word hybrid and I just like, I just spout gibberish. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, like, no, I'm not having a seizure. It's just uh, I, I speak, uh, I guess, too fast or uh, speak and think at the same time, which is probably a good thing. So yeah, now nah, I'm not rambling because I'm, I'm actually rambling at this point. Love you. Hope you enjoy the games. Do like if you enjoy the video. Why not? Help me out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. Oh boy, the resurgence. Let's drop one. I mean, I don't mind uh, double boom baboon, but we don't really trade well into their into sand soldiers. Uh, let's just pass for now.
just don't really have a uh, any good discard target. Like all these cards could be useful. into flame chomper feels good man look at this clean clean hit oh love that synergy now we get to recycle this giving us more oh man that lulu oh man that lulu i think i just want to Play her first. Get a daring Poro to trade into the Green Glade duo. Thus deterring their attack. Yeah. Maybe playing Bajatox version. See what we see. Yeah, this this daring Poro, <laughs> absolute MVP. Obviously, trading into that. It is time. Your own mischief. We don't mind using all of these, all of these bodies to block a little bit. And now. What's the plan here? Two steps into moonlight. <gasps> mm -hmm. All the colors. <laughs> no, I, I don't. In this matchup, I, I don't like stacking everything. The forest surrounds us. On just one thing. We just do this. And then we'll do this. I'm happy with these exchanges just because we haven't, we definitely have enough. To survive. We have healing here with uh, with the Telstones. We got enough tools for everything. We can cycle through our deck. Because every card helps. Stand behind me. They won't hurt you. If they hurt you, I'd never forgive myself. I think I kind of just want to get rid of that, though. They could have a twin disciplines or something, but otherwise, you know, we could use that to go face, but we're going to be able to finish them off in the next attack, so we just got to survive. And dealing with Irelia. When rhythm takes hold, there's no. Tell the people uh -oh. what you have seen today. Telling the people. He's telling the people. Shit. Bounce back the Yurkin. This prevents a shitload of damage and pretty much, yeah. GG. <laughs> just wins because we clear most of their board. We set down the Zonnet again, and that was just glorious. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye! All right. Not a great matchup for us.
We don't really need the Nye here. Uh, we're gonna keep everything else, because Retreat is very good here, obviously. Um, we're not going to be leading off with Dancing Droplet, though, like, immediately. We're gonna try to set up some defense. Now we're good. Get some damage on him. I'm worried about a blade's edge. I'm really worried about a blade's edge. But that just comes in at any time. Make it rain is also brutal. Let's just go hurry. Wild hearts should run free. Just to play around in Rachnoid Sentry. Upset about that. <laughs> okay. Sure. Deal me in. All the glitters. Maybe should have spread out with the boom baboon. Not what I should have done. Yeah, definitely what I should have done. Nice to meet you. Well, I mean, to be fair, never mind. <laughs> it's just a rough matchup in general. Like, certainly uh, tough. Tough not not to crack. But uh, in signing, we trust. Oh my god. That's good as well.
you serious? They have to top deck that? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that's painful. I cry every time. <laughs> Dude, that was brutal. Ugh. Your boy Fizz. I'm gonna drop one Poro Ken. Keep the other one though. It's a very strong enabler, though I'd like to see some flame chompers. There we go. I'm cold, I'm hungry, there's rocks in the boat. Sucks to be. Hit up with the head here with dancing uh, droplet. We're gonna go into Boom Baboon. Yeah, because it trades better here. Wondrous discoveries await below. I'll show the hunters. Oh dear. I don't know what they could have like they could definitely have generated something that destroys okay, this actually makes up for it. The sun drop got me good. That is a good draw. Because they could have gotten like something like a death hand. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. The forest and I are one. Okay, so for now we're just doing this. Like we're keeping you in the back. So we can draw. Cause we, we it's not like we really have uh, a use for killing off the blade squire early on here. It's my time. I kind of just want to clear this, to be fair. Get rid of the body. Play Droplet. For two mana, I don't think they should have much. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. This Lulu is great, though. But for two mana, they should not be able to deal with Lulu. I mean, we don't know what they've been generating with Conchologists. Like, maybe they have Blaze Edge into Ravenous Flock, but I'm gonna believe, you know, their pools haven't been that degenerate. <laughs> um, is it worth it to go for Ari's Charm here? Because mm, I feel like um, we can hold on to this for later. Like this. this is definitely something we're going for, right? Right off the bat. And then Can you hear your heartbeat? I can. I want me to draw more through my deck. Give me more options. Faster. Is this a good enough attack I mean, It should set up a lethal later. Persistence is key. So they did they did generate this with good choice. Uh yeah, it's fine. Oh, 
Homecoming here. That's why I didn't want to commit that. Ooh! Ooh, just in time. I mean, do I need... I don't think so. I think this board is fine, and then we keep the, the retreat return. Yep, that sparkles with me. All right, Hatchley! Hatch... Lay? That I, I don't... I don't really know. But we're going with it. Double challenger to remove both chump blockers here. For the thumbnail! <laughs> Die. Like that. That seems like it enough. And that sparkles with me. We're gonna be boosting our our daring Poro. There's a stun there that leaves them vulnerable to get excited, so that that's good. Victory! <laughs> nice. Let's take it home. Bit of a BM -y move, but yeah. You know, it's a fizz deck. You're allowed. <laughs> Let's go. Naturally. Anima is playing um Ilawi and maybe a one-off of Garen and two Jarvins, or maybe just one Jarvin. I don't know why why they would only play one Jarvin. Jarvin's amazing. I think it would be three, two, three, one, two split. We're gonna go ahead and um, I like Ari with Dancing Droplet. I like Navary. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's it's got a lot of potential to just cycle through. Things could get out of hand though. But we have a lot of card drawn. I don't want to say no to that. The forest and I are one. Answered prayer would be a bit annoying here. Not really though. Because we have the elusive body, so we get to attack for free. Sharp sight would be more annoying. We don't play around it though, because that's for nerds. We're just gonna ignore cards and their potential existence. There is the smash. I gotta get excited here. I gotta weaken this tentacle. Slow it down. If I slow it down, I slow the entire deck down. That's why I couldn't afford to go for retreat there, actually. We're gonna lead off with the droplet and we're gonna see what they do. We're very inclined towards Lulu, but it depends. Now that we didn't do another Lulu. Ooh, Lulu's Whimsicott. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of weird. I mean, I do want to retreat here just because I draw a card. Just like the smash. Whimsy can be pretty clutch here, actually. Which is why we're gonna drop Lulu. For king and country. Very patriotic. Adorabus! Belch! Just like that, we clear a threatening body. Obviously, Garen is still a thing. And Garen is something that we can't really break right now. The 
there's always a way out. Stand and be tested. Going in, trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm allowing you know, the the thing that the, the fact that he has low strength allows me to make use of this flame chomper. Um, I'm giving them the Garen level up because I gotta go face. I gotta go face. We have the ability to really spread out here. We go hatchling. The only way. We have enough health. Blocking like this. Soldiers of Damasia! Stand with me! And now we go in. They can only have so many sharp sights. Sharp sight into a judgment is what I'm worried about. Uh, if they do have that, then it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna play around that. Uh, especially because I suspect that Garen is the one-off in the deck. But with this strategy, like, we're going so wide. Yeah, that's just not enough. It's not enough. GG. No Ray. Hatchley. MVP. Oh. Really happy with that pilot in there. Nice. All right. Just making sure I, I uploaded something because, uh, you know, Gabby's like editing a video right now and I, 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 I'm not, I wasn't sure if I forgot something. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anivia. Avalanche is going to be an issue. I don't really see myself. I mean, I haven't. This could be fine, but it's going to be pretty late. For that to be useful, so we're gonna cycle through our deck instead. Problem is playing into Avalanche. Nothing escapes my watch. Avalanche is the biggest enemy here. But it's not there. We have the green light. I repeat, we have the green light. I go where the wind flows. For now. To drop your girl. The fort surrounds us. Help the poor. Look out for reefers. <laughs> light the signal fire. 
We challenge the spider link because he's gonna trade with his entry anyways, and we don't want to be vulnerable to like a random ass brittle steel. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, ravine happens. I'm gonna try to avoid playing things that, that died a vile feast. Well, this isn't the claim. Wish I really wish I had a Poro Cannon here. A Poro Cannon here would be the tits. Leave your bags in the door. We have a great twin disciplines here in case they want to block with the tavern keeper. Alright. It's a good hit. I really like that retreat. Simon, your arrival honors us all. Play Droplet first. I could have dropped uh, one of these boom baboons, to be honest. Probably should have. I think I got ahead of myself there. I just, I just really wanted to prevent. Here in your time of need. You can see the Nebastian border. Draw you just yet. A storm approaches. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, horny toad. Too late, brother. Mmm, nice. That tail stones. Oh, man, that recycling. There we go. Who needs to die? Oh, excited. 